Hey, Las Vegas, David Riedel here with Coldwell Banker Premier, your Las Vegas realtor. I'm here for our April monthly market update where we go over all the news in real estate and in Las Vegas. The median price has jumped up from last month, 5,000. We are at 455,000 median price. It is heating up in Las Vegas. I've been seeing new homes, we have interest list. Things are getting hot for the summer in real estate. And we also have more information on the NAR settlement, which is changing the way we do real estate. And we got more information on Cello Towers, which is gonna be a very important staple to the Symphony Park area. And is Las Vegas gonna be the new Hollywood? Well, Mark Wahlberg wants that to happen. Stay tuned for all that information on a monthly market update. Let's take it away, Bob. Well, did you get to watch the solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th? Hope you wore your eclipse glasses. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the April issue of the Monthly Market Update. And as our stats will confirm, Southern Nevada's economy cannot be eclipsed. But before that, on behalf of our almost 300 sales professionals who you've confidently entrusted with your buying and selling needs and with whom you've also forged great friendships, Thank you for sharing your heartfelt support and concern for our livelihood in response to the huge NAR settlement that you've heard about in the news. While we all know that good news doesn't sell, you may have also discovered that accuracy in that news is often not strived for by reporters. Suffice it to say that while we greatly appreciate your concerns, we're actually excited by and welcome the changes our industry will undergo and the transparency those changes will provide. And rest assured that we will continue to provide the highest level of service and value to our clients and we'll continue to be compensated fairly for the value we deliver. Molly and my good friend, past Coal Banker president, respected operator and Florida resident Budge Husky, wrote a very poignant piece aimed to clarify some of the inaccuracies of the press regarding this settlement. It's a very good read. All right, let's get to some fun stuff. A recent article released by Zero Hedge articulated the benefit of a national increase in for sale inventory and identified the five states with the largest increase in listings compared to one year ago. Well, Nevada wasn't on that list, but was on the opposite list and at the top with the largest reduction of for sale homes compared to last year and speaks to the continued robust market we are experiencing. New listings did increase by 7% from February. However, new sales eclipsed that pace with an almost 15% increase from last month and are 8% ahead of last March, while new closings also increased by 9% from February and the median sales price rose another 1% from February and stands at 465,000, 9.4% ahead of the 425,000 from this time last year. The median price per square foot rounded out at $250, and the average days on the market dropped 9% to 40 days. Zillow's chief economist, Skylar Olson, identified the 11 cities primed for real estate investors, and Las Vegas came in at number five. And CNN recently released a report that our downtown arts district is Las Vegas' hottest neighborhood. But why stop there? As you've probably heard, major cities across the country, like San Francisco, are sadly experiencing an urban blight in their downtown districts. And the University of Toronto School of Cities recently ranked the recovery of cities downtown core, and Las Vegas came in at number one, suggesting that we are actually experiencing the opposite of most downtown's doom loop. I think I'd lose all respect if I didn't take this opportunity to make a shameless plug. Cello Tower, Las Vegas' first high-rise development since City Center in 2008, is enjoying resounding interest and is located in the new downtown called Symphony Park. Two very significant residential land sales took place last month that could be home to thousands of future residences. First, a 54-acre residential plot bordering Southern Highlands and sold by their investment partners to New York-based Gen Partners who purchased the site for $33.5 million. Neither party was available for comment, but that's a lot of scratch to not have development plans. 
Next, and a little less secretive, in what will go down as the largest land sale in six years, a JV partnership between home builders KB and TriPoint will purchase 454 acres from a REIT for $195 million. The property is within the villages of Tule Springs, an 8,000 home master plan community. And finally, Las Vegas' newest and most popular resident, Mark Wahlberg, helped to broker a deal between Howard Hughes Corporation and Sony Pictures to build a $1.8 billion, 10-building, 500,000-square-foot film studio consisting of an additional 100,000 square feet of supporting space and resulting in 10,000 permanent, high-paying jobs. Thank you, Marky Mark. And if you're looking for a great middle-aged supporting actor, have your people call my people. Uh, Bob, you don't have any people. It is so hard to find good help these days. Thank you once again for making us your real estate company of choice. And be sure to reach out to your Coldwell Banker sales professional for details of all the updates we synopsized today. Spring doesn't last long in our desert, so enjoy it and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.